Hey, I hear there's some NCAA football Facebook fans out there that have some questions for me. I'm going to read a couple. All right, this one's from Brian. After your huge season at Baylor last year, your performance at the NFL Combine, and now being on the cover of NCAA Football 13, what is it going to take to stay focused and hungry as you prepare to be a first-round pick for an NFL team? Well, Brian, I think that's a pretty easy question because as a player, you, you love the game. And uh, a lot of retired guys will tell you that they love you know, playing on Sundays, but they don't like having to do Monday through Saturday. So I'm going to cherish Monday through Saturday, do my homework, make sure I'm ready to, to play every Sunday or Monday or Thursday, and, uh, and make sure I can play the, the best of my ability. All right, next question is from Chris. How big of an honor is it to be on the cover of a game franchise that you're such a fan of? Well, it's a big honor. Um, you know, I played this game, you know, for a long time back in, in the 90s. And uh, when I was eight years old, I was playing this game. So I'm excited to finally get my opportunity to, to really be on the cover and not just uh, on the cover where people on Facebook make covers of, of me. So, I um, mean, it's an honor, and uh, that's all I can say. All right, this question is from Carson. Were you expecting to be on the cover of NCAA Football 13? And who would you like to see share the cover with you? Well, Carson, I didn't, didn't know I was going to be on the cover, but... Uh, I'm not going to tell him no, and if I had to choose one guy to be on the cover with me, although he's short in stature, he's huge in heart, and I definitely have to choose Doug Flutie. Uh, you know, I watched him growing up, and he's the one that encouraged me to, to do the drop kick. So I drop kick, you know, every day before practice and after practice. Hopefully I'll be able to do it in the game sometime soon. All right, this next question is from Aaron. Have you made yourself in road to glory to see if you can <laughs> duplicate what you achieved at Baylor? No, I have not made myself in Road to Glory. I haven't had time to play NCAA um, for a while now, but um, I try to play every now and then, just not Road to Glory. It's a little bit of a long process, uh, but you can definitely, you know, create yourself and, and do the Road to Glory and try to make your own achievements. <laughs> All right, this next one's from Brendan. When did you start playing, playing football and what advice do you have for younger players? I actually didn't start playing football until seventh grade. Um, what I'd say is if you're a receiver, play quarterback, uh, because that's what I did. I was a receiver growing up, and I liked running around. But at the end of the day, I realized if I'm running 60 yards and nobody can throw it to me, uh, maybe I should just throw the ball and not have to run 60 yards. Um, but for the younger players, just you know, seize every day, seize every moment. One of my coaches told me uh, carpe diem, which is you know, seize the day, uh, because you don't know if the next day is promised. Uh, so if you seize every day, you'll make sure you get the most out of it, and that's the way to live your life. All right, that's all the questions I've got for now. Thank you guys for sending them in.